In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how you can create your own book cover for publishing on Amazon KDP. Now, a few videos back, I published this video and it was all about the changes to Canva and what you can and can't do when making books for Amazon KDP. And in short, they said that you can't use their elements or their fonts for making books for Amazon KDP because when you make those books and publish them, you have to certify that you own the copyright. But Canvas stated that they own the copyright, even if you created a unique design with their elements, okay? So from that, after I've had a think about it, I think that you can use Canva to make book covers and make the interiors of your books but you must use your own fonts and your own graphics. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how you can go and get your own fonts and go and get your own elements and bring them together to make your own book cover in Canva, which you own the copyright for. So let's have a look, shall we? So this was a book um, niche that we were looking at in a previous video, Softball Scorebook. Okay, so I don't actually know the difference between softball and baseball. Uh, in fact, I don't know of either of them because I'm from the UK. But either way, let me know in the comments if you want to enlighten me. <laughs> this book is uh, a large book, 8.5 by 11 inches. And it's 120, uh, 120 pages in total. So what we can do then is we're going to make a cover for this for for the, a book in this niche. So we need to go to the cover calculator. Um, all the links I'll put um, in the in the video description. Okay, so it's a paperback. Um, it's going to be black and white. Uh, it's going to be white paper. It's going to left to right. At inches and that's 8.5 by 11 okay so we're going to put the page count in 120 calculate dimensions okay and we're going to download that template then once we get the PNG we can then um, upload that into Canva okay so let's just open this and you can see then uh, let me just pop this in for you so you can actually see it what you want to do is you want to get the overall dimensions, okay? So now that this has finally come up, we can have a look at here. And if you look at here, this overall dimensions here, okay? So we need to pin those overall dimensions into Canva when we create a new um, file. Okay, so custom size document, stick into inches. And let me just check that again. Okay, so let's stick these numbers into Canva. Okay, so 17, 5, 2, 0, 11.250. Let me just double check that again. Yes, that is correct. So we're going to create a new design and there it is. Fantastic. Now what we want to do is just give that a name. So this is going to be the softball scorebook. Yep. Yeah. And then we're going to um, put in the template. Okay, so what we do is we upload it. Um, I've already done this previously. So just give that a second to load. And then we're going to pop that onto the document. There it is. And then we're going to pull it into the uh, top left hand corner and it'll snap into place. See that? And we'll pull it down and that will snap into place too. Okay, fantastic, right. So now what we're going to do is we're going to stick on um, a, basically a square to cover um, the template, okay? And, you know, when we click on this, it'll just give a, it'll be like a random color, okay? Um, let me just see here. So, what, oh, look, I've locked the page, haven't I? Ha ha ha, it's so funny. Um, anyway. So if we just bring up this square, now that the page is unlocked, let's pull this down to cover the cover. Now, for the sake of argument, let's just make this a white uh, background on this. Now, I'm doing this very quickly. Let's just turn the tr transparency down so you can see where we're putting stuff, okay? Um, what we can do now is we need to stick in some text and stick in some creative elements, except we don't want to use canvas, do we? 
because I've just already pointed that out. So let's first go over and have a look at where we can find some text fonts that we can use um, and, you know, not have any issues with copyright and that good stuff. So if we come up to here, there's a website here called dafont.com. Dafont. The font you want, mate. Anyway, that's just a joke. But on here, I've typed in free and it's come up with lots of different fonts that have the word free in it. OK, but um, you can type anything you want. And as long as you look at to the side where it says 100 percent free, you can use that. OK, so anyway, I mean, look here, you can see here that 100, 1001 free fonts. But look at that. So anyway, look at all. Oh, but swearing straight away this is a this is a nice channel okay but look look that one there was 100 percent free um some of them will be free to use you know kind of personally but you can't use them commercially but you want to look for the ones that are 100 percent free so this one freebie let's download that for an example um there's another one here um free la free la so let's just download that uh and perhaps just one more Free zone. That's a free zone. 100% free. So we download that. You click on the button and that downloads a particular font file, which you can then upload to Canva, which I've already done. Yeah, which we'll, I'll show you in a second. Uh, next thing is we need to look at the creative elements. So if we head over to Creative Fabrica, this is where we can grab our elements. OK, and what we want to do is I would type in the keyword in this little box, baseball. OK, because then it's going to pull up all the different creative elements that we can use. But if we actually pull down um, into this column, we can actually get, we can find the freebies section. OK, so the freebies section are things for free. Now, Creative Fabrica isn't very expensive. So, you know, if you wanted to spend the subscription, you can kind of, you know, buy the things um, on subscription and get more uh, variety. OK, but just for this example, we're just going to just do a quick example of a book cover uh, for a, a softball score book. OK, so going through these, there's lots of different ones and I've previously um, downloaded and threw them all onto Canva already to save some time, haven't I? So look, for instance, you click on one of these and you just go to the download button. And what you'll notice is, you know, these are for any commercial product. Great. And there's commercial license and you get a commercial license and stuff and it's all free. OK, but all the information is on the website anyway. So now that we've done that, let's head back over to Canva. OK, and let's put in uh, some text. Now, we know it's going to be called a softball score um, scorebook. OK, softball scorebook. Um, now, I'm just wondering, do you score goals in um, softball <laughs> or tries? I don't I, I don't I don't know. Do you do you is it runs? It probably runs, you run around that thing, don't you? The diamond thing. Anyway, right, so we've got softball and we need that to, to we'll just paste in score, score, um, what was it? Scorebook, yeah. Softball scorebook. Okay, so let's just get that into there. Um, and then what we're going to do is we're going to um, highlight both of these and we can play around with the free fonts that we have downloaded, okay? I've previously uploaded them, okay? So we'll go to um, uploaded fonts just pull this down you can see the uploaded fonts i've done here and these ones that i'm looking at are the, the free ones so there's this this freebie one so you can click on that and that changes it into you know kind of you know that kind of style and this is the free la free la get that on there okay and then there's this free zone welcome to the free zone baby okay so free zone scorebook that's a little bit big but you can make that small if you preferred that or whatever okay so let's just choose that for this example okay now this is a very quick example do you see what i'm saying guys so you did spend more time on it and make your book cover a bit better than this okay but i'm just showing you how to do it okay so here's some more elements that i've um, um uploaded and some kind of baseball stroke softball elements okay so what we're going to do is we're going to cut all these up and we're going to make a kind of an original design okay to make it kind of unique um, so that we own the copyright, okay? Now, um, the way that you kind of use these is you kind of layer, the, layer them up, put them into nice patterns. Obviously, we've got that um, 
that font there, you know. So the design is going to be a unique design. Now, um, I can already tell that I'm going to be quite kind of, you know, I'm going to put that ball there and I'm going to twist that there and stuff. But remember, guys, it's up to you, you know, where you kind of put, um, you know, your design elements. Um, and more often than not, you've got to kind of play around with it to get uh, something that you like. OK, uh, for this example, it's only going to be very basic. Um, what I would always suggest doing when you're doing your cover design is make sure that you get some nice depth, you know, so add some shadows, you know, give the uh, font a little bit, um, you know, standing out, you know, with kind of effects and things like that. My idea here is to put these 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 baseballs or sorry, softballs, should I say, <laughs> um, in between each kind of gap on this kind of uh on these bats see but i don't even think that makes sense because the ball shouldn't be that big should they unless they were novelty um but anyway you know i'm gonna i'm gonna mess around with this but the, see the thing is though guys what you need to do is you just need to just play around with it and get something that you are you know you're happy with and um you know you can do this by you know, spending a bit more time on it, obviously, you know, um, this is only a kind of 10 minute video or whatever it's going to end up being. Um, but what you can do is if you go on a creative fabrica, you can go on there and spend a bit more time looking around at these different sort of things. See, that? See, I don't even like that either. <laughs> we need to get the glove on there as well, don't we? Because they have mitts when the, uh, when the person who throws the ball at the person who bats the ball. Yeah. The, um, I'm fairly sure the person who throws the ball has one of these giant mitts to grab the ball. So if we put that in the middle, maybe that'll create kind of like a little emblem thing. Does that look all right? No, it looks terrible. But the point is, get a few more design elements than just simply three. You know, play around with your uh, fonts and, you know, make it kind of... Um, a really good kind of book okay so maybe if i just make this no let's get rid of that okay let's maybe put the mitt at the top maybe put it there <laughs> possibly so um i think this is about right this is what well, this is the best i'm going to get isn't it okay so what we need to do is just let's just make the um the font stand out a little bit just put a few effects on there give it a bit of depth that's the best we're going to get for for this short demonstration. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, download it the PDF. Okay, so what you need to do is go up into the top hand corner and we'll go to share and go to download. And then all we do is we select the print um, ready, the print uh, sorry the uh, PDF print. Yeah, so uh, I've put PDF standard, but you go on the PDF print. Okay, so that will print it off. OK, and there it is. That's the that's the cover. <laughs> Not the best cover in the world, guys, but please spend more time on it when you are doing it. OK, so just like that, you can see how easy it is to create your own cover that you own the copyright for um, that you can publish on Amazon KDP. If you found this video useful, please give it a like. And if you haven't subscribed, also subscribe. Now, if you have a look at this video, I think you might find this useful too. So go and check it out. And until next time, bye.